What are we doing here? Freezing. It is month three of our compost. And it's actually just February 25th. We only shot two weeks worth. And because of the really interesting stuff, we actually cut it uh, here. So uh, we'd love to hear some feedback from you guys on this. And uh, yeah, some pretty, pretty interesting things have happened. So without further ado, uh, enjoy the, the video. Awesome. Let's go. All right, welcome to uh, part three of our great composting experiment. Uh, it's been three, four days since we released uh, that video. And uh, I gotta say, you guys are awesome. We have almost as many uh, comments as we do views on it right now, which is, is pretty legendary. Uh, as most of you guys know, um, I enjoy the comments the most on, on YouTube. Uh, the banter is, is awesome and uh, we're learning some stuff. So uh, speaking of which, one of the great comments on that video was uh, Sandra from Nana's Worms. Legendary uh, garden and uh, she does amazing stuff with worms. Uh, she was saying that if you're not, if you don't have access to uh, uh, seaweed that like we put in in the last video, uh, there's there's lots of options in the for people that uh, don't live by an ocean uh, comfrey uh, nettles weeds with deep tap roots but she also she mentioned that uh, ponds are a great resource for micronutrient micronutrients and green materials so if uh, you know if you're in the middle of nowhere and you have access to a pond maybe try pulling some of that stuff up and throwing it in your heap so um, yeah, thanks again, and uh, let's get going on month three here. Awesome. Okay, so it's been four or five days since I flipped it last and added the seaweed when I flipped it. The temps have stayed, obviously they dropped when I uh, flipped it, and then they came up to about 80, and then just like incrementally have gone up. They're between 80 and 90, and today it's, it's uh, right on uh, 90 degrees. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it and add something that I've wanted to do for a long time. So, so this is my attempt at lab lactobacillus. Now we've done videos on this, uh, but you're probably far better served to go uh, check out this guy's video. He's a legend. If you don't know about Weedy, uh, you should Jeff definitely go check him out. He is. Uh, just a, a really, really cool guy, and the way he goes about things are uh, pretty legendary. So what I've done is taken the lab that I've made, taking about two, three teaspoons, and mixed it with uh, rainwater. And what I'm gonna do is, when I flip this, is just sprinkle this stuff in. And what I wanna see is if the lactobacillus bacteria will actually bump the uh, heat temperatures at all, if at all. So um, yeah, if, if nothing else, there'll be some beneficial bacteria going in there. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to track. So I'm gonna get going on flipping this compost. And what I'm most interested in is the moisture to see if the, the kelp and the seaweed uh, kind of rehydrated the pile. It was on the drier side and uh, not so worried about the smell this time because I'm sure that uh, that kelp is, is uh, breaking down um, yeah, so not 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 as worried about the smell on this flip. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. Awesome. Lots of uh, worm activity. Okay, that's uh, that's super cool. This is uh, decaying kelp, unwashed kelp. So it's full of salt and sand and stuff. And there's a ton of worms that are working around uh, and through it. So that's that's kind of surprising to me. I thought they would stay away from the uh, the salt for sure. definitely has a little more of a 
old sea smell to it now, if that makes any sense. Uh, pitchfork feel heavier, the each individual one, so I'm expecting that'll be, it'll uh, have sucked up a bit of moisture. We'll see. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a ton more moisture. If you guys watched the last video, there was, there was, I couldn't get a drop out. So, well, no, I got one drop out. Um, but yeah, um, still, it's really breaking down well in there. I just got one other thing to show you. I think that was that massive piece of kelp that I put in earlier. Um, but we'll see. I might, I might find it. Um, if this is it, I'd be shocked, but uh, we'll see. Okay, I, I think I found that giant uh, ball, or, well, I don't know what you call it, kelp, kelp ball, the thing at the end of the kelp, uh, but uh, yeah, I think that's what's left of it. it uh, the microbes are definitely, definitely enjoying it, so. All right, got her done. It was about uh, half an hour this time. Took a little bit longer because I was just fiddling around a little more. But it uh, looks like I put in just under a liter of the diluted lab in there. And uh, we'll, we'll just kind of see how it goes. Uh, see if the temperatures bump up. If they do, fine. If they don't, that's fine too. Uh, it'll just be interesting uh, to see. Uh, the other interesting thing is this, this is over 60 days old. And it's really lost very little of its original mass. So. I don't know if you guys got any theories or ideas. I know it was a very heavy carbon uh, pile. Like it was probably 95% browns by mass. So uh, if you guys got any uh, uh, comments on that, we'd love to love to hear about it. But uh, yeah, interesting. Uh, worms are loving the seaweed and I didn't wash it. So uh, that's kind of a, a cool lesson. And uh, we'll just, we'll see how the temps do over the next week or so. And uh, we'll bring you guys back soon. So. Have a great day. February 24th, day 69. Um, it's been eight days since I flipped this and uh, 17 days since I've added the seaweed. So we have some interesting stuff. And one of the commenters said they'd rather see the com compost more than me. So we're gonna go with uh, more compost than me and I'll just chat for a couple minutes here and see what we got. So let's get to it. So one of the really interesting things that's happened is since I've added the uh, the lab, and we'll throw up the uh, the graph here and show you guys. Um, you can definitely see since adding the the uh, the lactobacillus uh, about just under a liter of it uh, eight days ago that there was a noticeable uh, increase in the in the temperatures. So um, that's pretty darn cool. I wasn't uh, I wasn't expecting. I didn't know what to expect actually uh, because there was so much carbon um, just remaining in the pile. So. I think there's other two things going on there. Um, either the seaweed takes a while to uh, to break down and then have the nitrogen become available uh, to the bacteria that's working away, um, or the the lab definitely definitely worked. So. Um, and I'm kind of leaning towards the lab because if you if you look, the seaweed um, temperatures never really increased that much at all, and it wasn't until um, adding the lab that they really 
they really fired up and almost sniffed thermophilic. Like it was right at 130 uh, one day. So, um, so yeah, it's it, it's really kind of interesting to me. To me. Um, as a side note: I am seeing tons of worms in here, um, which is cool. Even in the increased temperatures, they just find a way to find their their favorite temperatures. So um, that's really cool. All right. So the reason why I wanted to wait to add lab as well is um, I could have added it at the beginning, but that wouldn't have really told me anything because I waited until after the thermosophilic cycle um, had finished and temperatures were trending downwards. Um, like with all my other piles and other piles I've seen before, there, there tends to be a, a fairly consistent pattern of, you know, getting to high temperatures, uh, flipping them, them coming back up to a certain temperature, but never really going past that, that threshold. And um, this is the first pile where it was definitely trending towards, um, you know, below 80 degrees. It had been below 80 degrees, I think, or around 80 to 90 degrees for about two weeks. And then once I added the lab, it shot up. So what it tells me is um, that the lab is definitely worthwhile um, uh, or, or definitely works with um, compost accelerating. So um, yeah, super, super stoked about that. So I'd be super interested in what you guys, uh, what you guys think um, in what's going on. Like I have my suspicions, but I'm not really, I mean, I'm pretty darn new at this. So um, I'm not, not exactly sure. So, um, and the other thing I just want to quickly mention too is um, a great lady, Allie, Allie D from, she just changed her, uh, her channel name. I believe it's now is My Rusty Garden. She gave me a tip on a super old video. It was like over a year ago, I think. And if I can find the, uh, if I can find the, the comment and then the, the video, I'll definitely, I'll put the video in the comments, in the, uh, what do they call that? In the description below. And I'd recommend you go checking it out. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't check out the video. I would definitely just check it, look for Ali D and, and check out her comment. She, she sent me a, a fantastic comment and it's, it's called drunken, drunken composting or drunken accelerator or something like that. I wish I remember better. Sorry, Ali, but uh, yeah, again, something that's very, very cheap to make and has apparently really good results. I haven't tried it because um, I'm kind of, I was leery about adding that much water or, or sorry, liquid to my pile, but it's, it's super interesting. It's like beer, ammonia, some other stuff. Um, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely check that out. So, um, yeah, thanks again, Ali. I really, uh, really appreciate, uh, your comments as always. So, um, so let's check out the moisture here real quick. Yeah, there's, it's definitely moist. I mean, it's balling up. I don't know if you can see that very well, but um, balling up. But yeah, I mean the material is is really broken down. See the worm, the worm activity in there. It is nice and warm on my hands. It is. Uh, it's not that warm out here in Victoria. It's a beautiful day, but not not super uh, super warm for sure. So for day, what is this? Day sixty nine. Um, you know, almost a month, no, two and a half months, um, to have this pile between, uh, I guess it would be kind of a low of, all right, let's just pick a number, say 70, 70 degrees Fahrenheit and a high of 160, but it mainly being between kind of 140 and, and 90, um, man, I couldn't be, I couldn't be happier 
with this. It is breaking down super, super nice. Moisture level has been really all over the place throughout the pile, but it's uh, it's really good right now. So. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's be a miracle if you can. But that's actually a cocoon. I'm blown away that I've seen worms in there for just over maybe three weeks and they're already laying cocoons in what was very re recently a thermophilic compost pile. So that's pretty cool. There's just a cluster. Now it's near the bottom, so it would be probably 110 maybe 120 somewhere in there um i mean they say worms can only survive up to about 100 103 so i would probably say that it was probably closer to that kind of range but i'm still amazed at how many worms are kind of in the center of the pile here it's like sacrificial fungi in here lots of worms as well Super moist. All right, I'm a lot warmer now. Um, yeah, that took about 20 minutes, uh, give or take. So. You can see the high-tech uh, device that I use for those uh, epic camera shots. Uh, fingers crossed that they work, but uh, anyways, yeah, two big takeaways. I couldn't be happier uh, with the performance of the lab. I wasn't expecting um, anything, especially with the, the absence of, of nitrogen basically left in that pile. So um, to be able to add something six weeks on and it to kick temperatures up so dramatically um, is really, really cool. I mean, there's all sorts of uh, uses apparently out there for lab. I know uh, Anita at Flower Fork Farms down in Australia. She inoculates a lot of her of her uh, flowers. Um, she sells uh, flowers professionally down there. Uh, she swears by lab, and uh, yeah, even to clean your uh, drains. Apparently, it'll eat the stuff in the old uh, I'm not a plumber, the thinger, and uh, take care of it, so you don't have to use Drano. But um, anyway. Anyways, uh, lots of good uses, and it's super cheap. It cost me, it was a half liter of milk, a uh, cup, of, cup of rice, and that, that was basically the only cost. Oh, no, brown sugar too. I use brown sugar, so um, yeah, maybe five bucks worth, something like that, compared to a compost accelerator that they offer in the garden centers and stores. It is a uber, uber good option. So, couldn't be happier. Just amazed by the worms. They don't give two Fs about uh the temperatures they it's a big enough pile they can move about uh the off gassing doesn't seem to be an issue um and uh they've been doing it for millions of years so they kind of know what's what so um so yeah we'll be back soon and take you maybe to the next step we'll see definitely gonna involve worms the next step uh but i'll be interested to see what the temps do this week i think they'll go down which means they'll probably go up but we'll see how it goes all right see you soon Mm. Uh, which would be really cool so uh without further ado uh please enjoy it's uh pretty awesome so let's go uh. should we do it again?